Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. This is uh, Isometric Projection video number 16. It's a KPU question, Kerala Technical University, Abdul Kalam, APJ Abdul Kalam University of Kerala State. Uh, it says about, says about a hexagonal prism, a hexagonal prism, 30 mm side, 70 mm axis, standing on its base on the ground with a coaxial hole through the center. What do you mean by coaxial hole? Coaxial hole means the hole of the, the hole has its axis coinciding with the axis of the prism or the axis of the hole coincide with the axis of the prism, coaxial hole. The hole is 30 mm diameter. The hexagon is 30 mm side, the hole is 30 mm diameter. Let us draw a hexagon first. A hexagon, plan of the hexagonal prism. Plan of the hexagonal prism A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. At the center is the hole. You need not draw the hole now. Inscribe the hexagon in a rectangular box as usual. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Since you are asked to draw the isometric view, you can take the actual dimensions. Horizontal line. Thirty thirty axis. One, two, four, three. One, two, three, four. Thirty degrees. 30 degrees, take the 6, ok you can take the box, complete the box rather, Five, six, seven, eight. Draw or locate the six plus six, twelve points of the hexagonal prism. Connect them. Top of the person. Hexagonal prism. Now, inside this hexagonal prism, you have got the circular hole. The circular hole that's the center of the top hexagon. Measure what's the diameter of the hole? Diameter of the hole is 30. Measure 15 to either sides. There are numerous ways of mark getting this rhombus there. You need a rhombus there. What are the options? You can draw a circle here. These two, the circle will fall on these tangential lines. Draw two horizontal lines. Locate these points. Okay. These points are on the sides itself. Locate these points, connect them, you get a rhombus there. That is one way. What I am doing is different. Get the center, measure 15, 15, 15, 15 and then draw parallel lines. You can see a rhombus. Four corners of the rhombus. This will be rather easier than 
drawing all these lines. What are these lines actually? This line is nothing but this line. That we also can do. This will come here, this will go there, this will come there, this will come here. I have chosen another method actually. No, inside this rhombus, inside this rhombus, you have to construct the ellipse. You know the method of constructing the ellipse? Join the larger diagonal, join the obtuse angles to the centers of the sides, then do the same thing. You can locate the Draw the rhombus here also. Larger diagonal. Joining centers to the obtuse angles to the centers of the opposite sides. Draw the ellipse. Draw a tangents. Why are the tangents dotted? Because the hole is inside, coaxial hole, you cannot see it, it is inside. This completes. You have got a firm ellipse there and a dotted ellipse here with the two dotted tangential lines. Not a very difficult question, simple question. You know how to draw a prism, you know how to draw a cylinder. Here is one inside the other. So a little bit time consuming. The points which you note, which you are supposed to note are the box 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 when you draw must be very light because such a box doesn't exist. You are locating the points of the hexagonal prism inside. The points are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. I hope you understand. If you want, you can name this rhombus also. That is not necessary. The corners of the rhombus. You can name them if you want, but that is not necessary. Once you learn things, you can you can uh, avoid so many writings, so many lines, and uh, draw without marking them. With confidence, you can do that. When you are got, when you are learning, only you name them so that it keeps uh, warning you about the points. But once you know it, it's not necessary to mark all of them. I hope you understand. Okay. Similarly, you can have a hole in a pentagonal prism or a square prism or in a cylinder, coaxial hole in a cylinder, etc. So this problem gives you basic information how to draw such questions. Thank you.